Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand how to make an ellipse with the help of parallelogram method. You have to make an ellipse in parallelogram with sides 150 mm and 100 mm and the included angle is 120 degree. So first of all, make a 150 mm line and name it as AB. Now take a protector and make a line of 100 mm at 120 degree and give it name point C. Now complete your parallelogram by making a parallel line to AB and parallel line to BC and name it as point D. Divide your parallelogram in some equal part. Take a midpoint of AD and take a midpoint of BC and make a line PR. In the same way, take a midpoint of AB and CD and make a QS line and give this point name as O. Now you are going to divide your DP line into some equal divisions and DP is 50 mm because we have a P as a midpoint of AD and AD is 100 mm as per the question. So we are going to divide PD line into some equal divisions. So students you can take any divisions but you have to start at least from three equal divisions to divide this line PD. So in this case I am going to take a division of 5. So 50 divided by 5 so it will give me a 10 mm distance. So with the help of scale I will divide this line into 5 equal divisions of measurement 10 mm. In the same way I will divide my OP line into 5 equal divisions and OP in this case is 75 mm and to divide it into 5 equal divisions it could be a 15 mm. So I will take a scale and mark a 15 mm points like this. So now I will give the naming to all the points. So this is 1 dash, this is 2 dash, this is 3 dash and this is 4 dash and this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now from point S, I will make a line towards PD line like this. In the same way from Q point, I will make the lines towards 1 dash which extend up to 1 S line. In the same way, I will extend my another line which is passing through 2 dash and rests up to 2 S line. In the same way from point Q to 3 dash, and extends up to 3 and from 4 dash to 4 S line. So these intersections are points of the profile of ellipse. Now I can give the namings to it. So this is P1, P2, P3 and P4. Now from P4 point extend your line towards right side like this and the dimension of this line can be any. Again from point 3 extend towards right side and again and also from point P1 and P2. So these measurements can be any. Now with the help of compass we will find the another points of ellipse. So take your compass put over here on this intersection mark an arc to the right side. So this measurement should be equal to this measurement. In the same way open your compass and put over here and mark from this point to P3 and mark an arc to the right side. In the same way put your compass over here and mark from this point to P2 and mark an arc to the right side. In the same way for the P1 also. So these are the also points for my ellipse profile. In the same way take a lines from these new points towards the downside and extend it further like this. So these dimensions can be any. Now you can give the namings to these points. So this is P5, P6, P7 and P8. Now again take a compass, put your compass over here and mark from this point to P5 and mark an arc to the downside like this. So this dimension should be equal to this dimension. In the same way, put your compass over here and mark P6 from this point and mark an arc to the downside like this. So this dimension should be equal to this dimension. In the same way for the P7 put your compass here and mark an arc like this. In the same way for P8 put your compass over here and mark an arc to the downside. Now we can give the namings to it. So this is my P9, P10, P11 and P12. Now again we will take the lines from points P4 
P3 and P2 and P1. And in the same way, take your compass and put your compass on this point and mark from this point towards P4 and mark an arc downside. So this dimension should be equal to this dimension. In the same way, put your compass over here and mark a distance of P3 to this point and mark an arc over here. In the same way for the P2 and also for the P1 point line. So these are the points for my ellipse profile. So I can give the namings to it. So this is P13, P14, P15 and P16. So students, these points can be joined freehand to draw the ellipse in parallelogram. So you can say this. This is a just a profile for your ellipse which is passing through these points freehand. If you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be happy.